so before we get into the video i think i want to start showing y'all like my little get ups you know when i actually have someone because most times i have on sweatpants or pajama pants and like a tank top um but when i do have clothes clothes on i think i'm gonna start showing y'all so this whole ensemble with the exception of my slippers um pretty sure those are from walmart it's from charlotte Russe. so this little jacket it has a hood like red riding hood who this is shaken to her core okay look at <laughs> okay so i'm cute i'm loving this y'all you know i love me some charlotte ruse most times if anybody asks i tell y'all i got my thing from charlotte ruse so i think this is a cute little moment i had it like off the shoulder though the little bodysuit is from charlotte ruse as well it's just like a little I'm about to say spaghetti strap body suit. This is not spaghetti strap. This is that two finger joint you could wear at school. But this is a small little outfit. I thought it was super cute. And I was like, let me show them. I'm going to be having a clothing haul coming up soon. Let me know where y'all would like for the clothing haul to be from. Whether it be Charlotte Russe, Forever 21, Pretty Little Thing, Fashion Nova. You know, let me know. Let me know. And then, I bet you. Hey, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tiffany and today's video is going to be an update slash review slash demo slash reshoot because I filmed this entire, entire video on Thursday. It's now Monday. So for those of you that follow me on social media and all that, when I said that I recorded it, since I did record it, however, I cannot find my SD card. So <laughs> she's lost. So in turn, my video is lost. So I'm reshooting today. I did things a little bit differently than I did the first time. Um, for starters, I went and exchanged it for a different color because the first time listening to them lying girls at Sephora, them lying hussies at Sephora, I went in there and I don't know why I asked them anyway. I should just listen to my gut. My gut. So, I said, you know, I wear sable in the vanish stick. Um, how does sable look, you know, on my face for, you know, the vanish foundation? And sis was like, um, I think that's a little bit too yellow, a little bit too olive. I think you might be, I think you need something that's a little bit more, a little bit warmer, a, a little bit warmer. So I was like, okay, <laughs> listening to that lot, I was, I got it. I bought it home, sis, this was me, not the cute girl on the box, the package, this was me, this orange, what is it, or, or on, whatever, this was me, okay me she set me up and she didn't want me to be great it's fine i went back i went back i went back today and i exchanged so i picked up sable like i have in the vanish stick foundation so today i use this on one side of my face and then the vanish stick on the other side of my face um because i wanted to compare like the finishes the coverage and all of that i bet i couldn't even tell i had two different foundations on <laughs> i know y'all couldn't because i look good she looks what good okay so if you want to see all the products i put on top of this how i feel about it you know me just running my mouth because that's what i do then make sure you stay tuned to the video and then stay tuned to the end to see my final thoughts and all that. so i did go ahead and moisturize my face and prime and all the products that i use today that i don't use on camera i will leave them down in the description box so i was thinking that i would do one half of my face with the vanish stick ew the vanish stick and then one half of my face with the liquid version so on um this side of my face i'm going to use the stick and i have the stick in sable as well like i really don't even know why i listen to them because honestly i'm pretty sure they were trying to set me up for failure like i'm not 100 percent sure but like i'm pretty sure they set me up for failure so the vanish stick foundation gives really good coverage and y'all seen me use it before and the finish is very good it's really not it's not a matte finish at least not in my opinion and it's not a dewy i don't really know how to describe the finish of the foundation but whatever the case may be the coverage is bomb so that is really all i'm worried about y'all know i prefer not anything dewy so there's that so this is one half of my face with a stick which i know i love and this is just one layer 
So for right now, I'm gonna do that one layer and then I'm gonna do one, maybe one pump of this on the other side. So I got sable in this as well. So I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand. And this is the one pump. So it's a pretty generous pump. Okay, so on this side, I'm gonna use this Morphe M439. And this coverage is so good. Like blending this in, do y'all see like how it like matches down here? The walnut didn't even match my face. Like y'all know, like y'all can see kind of my face is like a little bit of a different shade than everywhere else. And walnut didn't even match that. So look at this coverage, like. So I don't know if y'all could tell before, but before I had like two little dark marks, oh, like this dark mark right here. You can't really tell, but it's right there. I have like two of those like on my face. And if the foundation covers those up, that is normally how I can tell if something is full coverage. And it's not like I have a problem with those marks or anything. It's just, I just prefer a full coverage foundation just because that's my preference. Like now, like I feel like nothing's wrong with me or nothing, but that's just like what I like. I'm going to do one more, um, a layer of the stick just so the coverage can be like a one since day one and i'm just gonna go over it with the same brush okay so this is the side with the liquid foundation the vanish and then this is the side with the vanish stick that's not blended out okay Okay, now this is the side with the vanish stick all blended out. Like, as you can tell, they both have similar finishes, if not the same finish. And the coverage for both sides is bomb. Honestly, I think I just had to do one more layer on here because obviously this is like a liquid cream. And you're going to get more coverage with that unless you like put a whole bunch of foundation on the side with the stick. But that's not here nor there so i'm going to show you guys how you know products look layered on top of the foundation so i'm gonna test out this makeup forever ultra hd concealer light capturing self setting if y'all want a separate video on this concealer let me know because i kind of want to do a full like review wear test on this um but only if y'all want to see it i'm gonna use it regardless but I will show y'all me using it and all that if y'all are interested. Just let me know that in the comments. So I got the shade 45. This is my first Makeup Forever. Um, Anything. I don't own anything Makeup Forever. And I didn't really realize, but every time I go like in Sephora, which honestly is not often, um, I probably don't need this much. <clears throat> every time I go in Sephora... I normally go to the same section, so I go to, wow, that's a lot, um, Anastasia, I go to Too Faced, and I go to Benefit a lot of times because I'm, like, re-upping on my, um, eyebrow products and stuff, so a lot of times I go to the same sections, I don't really, like, venture out to other parts of the store, so I don't think it's really nothing wrong with Makeup Forever, I just never one over there. So I'm going to use my Fenty Beauty Matchstick and Espresso to contour. I'm looking over here because my mirror is over here. Obviously, I feel like low-key, the quality of recording on my phone is kind of fire. Like, I will be doing too much, but I'm not going to front on them. Their camera quality is like A1. For real, for real. So I'm gonna take that same brush that I buffed out my foundation with to buff out my contour. I have no idea if it's a good idea to let this concealer sit. This is literally my first time using it, but I guess we'll see. So you see how that blended out over top of the foundation? Like a dream, okay? Like a dream. If I finish filming this video today, I will put it up today. It's Monday, so. We'll see how good my editing skills are when I finish recording this. So everything blends out really good over top of it. Like just like the stick foundation. Because y'all already know the vanish stick. Whew, 
she been doing it for me. Kind of hate wearing my wig because the hair just be doing its own thing. So I got this brush from Sephora. It is the number 202 and it has this like concealer brush on one side and then this multitasking, that's what it's called, face brush. I'm like, can you see how orange that is? I use this with the other foundation shambles. So I'm going to use this to buff out my nose contour because honestly, truly, when I did this, when I first got the brush, I was like, Sephora, why did nobody tell me Sephora brushes was in? I guess I'll use this little brush. Oh no, they still got that foundation on the end. Wow. Wow, try again, hun. Well, that turned out good. I'm gonna take this Sonya Cash Expunge and I guess we're going to see. So I'm not tapping very hard and okay. But also with that being said, the other concealer that I used when I was trying this foundation out in the first place worked really well too. So I'm not sure if the foundation is just like that chick or the concealer is that chick. So I'm going to test it. So, oh, this blended out really good. Ooh, I'm glad I went and exchanged this color because that last color, y'all would have been in shambles right along with me like y'all would have been trying to clock me i was clockable okay so i wouldn't have blamed y'all because sis was clockable and honestly if y'all didn't clock me i would think y'all was fake because like once i finished everything looked fine but you know normally if you're highlighting and contouring heavily like i am you kind of can like neutralize a foundation and make it look decent, but whew, that thing was serious. I double conceal, which isn't like something that's odd for me, but I had to heavily conceal just to make the color like somewhat nice. So that way y'all didn't think that I was just you know, being harsh on that foundation because of the color. Because the foundation, honestly, I love it. Like, it set down really well. It lasts a long time. So, it's definitely long wearing. And honestly, if you love the Vanish stick, you'll love the Vanish foundation. Like, it's really no way around that. Um, it's really good. And the formula is the bomb. Like sometimes I feel like that you can translate something out of cream. I'm not cream, but like out of stick form and try to put it in liquid form or vice versa and it just doesn't work out. This is one of those times. It's like bomb. And even like you see compared to the stick foundation side, like they look identical. So like the formulas are like spot on. So like I said, I'm going to take my Fenty Beauty Powder in Nutmeg to set my face. Where's the brush? Where's the brush? Where's the brush? And I'm dipping into the cap because I don't want it to, you know, clap back too hard at me. But like, do y'all see my skin? This looks so good. Like, I wanted to give y'all a side-by-side -side comparison. I'm kind of glad I had to refilm this because I wanted to give y'all a side-by-side -side comparison of the stick and of the foundation because y'all already know how the stick looks. So I feel like if you have a comparison of something similar or something that you know looks good and then you see it side by side, I feel like it can be, it's more accurate than just, you know, seeing it by itself because you have something to compare it to, you know, versus just, you know, winging it and you not really have anything to like grasp onto. Like, okay, well, this is how this looks and then this is how this looks, you know, like you can see the stick is already a favorite of mine. And then the regular foundation side is like, it looks good. So I'm just going to do the rest of my face on here with you guys. So I'm gonna take my Becca bronzer in Maui Night and my Jaclyn Hill brush that I don't know what exactly number it is. So I'm gonna take this Milani blush in Rose Dioro and this JH04 brush. 
looking very rosy very cute i'm feeling it i'm in it to win it and then where's my spray where's my spray where's my spray okay and then i'm gonna take this cute travel size all-nighter spray so then i'm going to take my um Reezy highlighter and use this jh09 brush all right so i'm going to throw on some brows do some eyeshadow a little something something and then i'm gonna be right back to give you guys my final thoughts on the so i went ahead and like lifted my glasses up off my face because i felt like this was a better way for you guys to actually see me and see what i had going on and plus the glare from the glasses was kind of bothering me a little bit so i know it probably will be bothering you guys but as you can see like looking at my face i'm looking down because obviously i'm on my ipad so the camera is up there but the screen is right here so i'm looking at myself in the camera um Looking at myself right now, I can't really tell that I have one two different foundations. The finishes are pretty much identical. Like, just from first glance and not, like, being too, like, harsh on it, those, they're pretty much identical. Like, the finish is good. I don't feel like I have a lot of product on my face. It doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't feel cakey. It doesn't feel like I, have, I like, overly use products. And I hate that because... When I tell you I hate stuff feeling heavy on my face, I hate it and I honestly will wipe all of it off if I feel like I have too much on my face. The coverage on the Vanish Foundation is bomb. Like coverage, coverage? Honey, coverage, okay? I would definitely say the coverage is A1. The coverage on the Vanish Stick is also good. Like y'all already know, y'all have seen me use it several times. But like that is like, that's like A1, day one, early day all day type coverage right there like that's like that's it for me okay so i'm not gonna say go out and spend your money with that being said i do feel like it's worth money i'm not gonna say your money because i'm so it's worth money um but if you're unsure i would definitely go go say say go to sephora and pick up a sample so that way you can test it out and you don't just go ahead and splurge on it because it is 56 dollars <laughs> and that is kind of a lot. I mean, I don't mind spending my money on complexion products because when you, somebody sees you, they see your face, you know? Like, so it's the first thing people see. So I don't mind spending money on it if I know it's going to be something that's good quality, and it definitely is good quality. The longevity of it is super good. It doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't feel cakey. Um, it blends well. Like I already said, I think. If not, it blends well. Um, the finish is just like the Vanish Stick. So if you like the Vanish Stick, you'll love this. Um, but honestly, I think that is really all I have for this video. Yeah, I think that's all I have. So if you have any more questions about the foundation or anything that I got going on today, glasses, hey, don't ask about the glasses because I don't know where the hell they're from. Um, hair, you know, clothes, nails, I really don't know what you ask about my nails, but anything. Um, I will leave all the rest of the makeup I use in the description box. And y'all let me know if you have any more questions. But that's really all I have to say. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like I always tell you guys, I'm your girl Tiffany. And I will see you in my next video.